So another common thing we'll do when we're doing an initial configuration on a computer is we will uh, rename the computer from the default name that Microsoft created when we installed it and we will add it to a domain. Now in this particular instance this is the only computer that I have. Um, I don't have an existing domain to add it to but I do want to go ahead and show you how to do both things here. So our command to add a computer to a domain is just add dash computer. So let me do a quick get help and I want to point out a couple of things. Get help add dash computer. And pipe it through more. Okay, so uh, add computer will add us to a, the local computer or a remote computer actually to a domain or work group. So you do add computer, you'd set the domain and really all you need to do is uh, set the domain name to add the local computer to an existing domain. Now sometimes we're going to want to rename a computer when we do that and so we can rename the computer which requires us to do a restart and then we can add it to the domain which requires us to do a restart but we can also do this right here. We can add a computer with a new name. I can also specify the credentials that I need to use if I'm wanting to use something other than the ones I'm logged in at lo as right now. Um, and then the other thing that we'll frequently want to do is go ahead and force the restart. So what this would look like, and remember I can't actually run this because I'm not connected to a uh, domain right now, would be add computer I'm going to set the domain name and I'm just going to make one up. Let's call it yvcc.edu. And then I can set a new name and I want my new name to be server3. Uh, and then that will, and then of course I have to have credentials in order to do that. Yeah, a new name didn't need a space, or didn't need a dash. Um, so if I'm using my existing credentials that's fine if I want to specify I can also do credential and then I'd put the domain name vcc.edu backslash admin01 so my administrator and then that would go ahead and have it do a restart when it's done with that and then that would do that entire thing for me so it would add it to the domain as long as I had the right credentials here it would add it to the domain it would rename the device and it would restart the computer all right in this case I don't have an existing uh, domain to work with I'll create one later on but I haven't done it yet so in this case what I'm looking for is to simply rename my computer and the command to do that is rename dash computer and then for that I'll set the new name and then I can do this with a remote computer using the computer name or I can set domain credentials if I need it uh, set a local credential if I need it uh, and then choose to restart when I'm done and remember after a um, after renaming a computer you always have to restart so let me do this let me do rename dash computer and I'm gonna rename this to Let's do it 2019 core. Now, I didn't tell it to restart the computer. So it doesn't, it just throws this warning. The change will take effect after you restart the computer. And this is its current name. So to restart the computer, it's just restart dash computer. And that will start the restart process. Okay, there we go. That is how we can rename a computer and add it to a domain using PowerShell.